Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friendly professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we're going to debrief on chapter two, hands-on exercise 2-3. And the web page looks like this, pick a shape, and the JavaScript, when you click on one of these elements, tells you what you clicked on. So it's just doing a window alert to tell you that you've clicked the circle, the triangle, or the square. Let's look at the code. The interesting thing about the code in this case is that we're using an event listener in each case, so we're getting the element by ID square, triangle, or circle to send an alert, a window dot alert. And by now you know that the window dot part is optional, but I still like to explicitly reference the object name to determine if we click the square, the triangle, or the circle. We're listening to the click event and giving the message based on when that is clicked. But here in the function name area, we're using what's called an anonymous function. This function doesn't have a name. And I really don't like this technique because it doesn't allow you to reuse the code. So I cannot reuse a statement if I don't give the function a name. However, you might see this in your travels. So this is called an anonymous function. It is indeed a function. It's just a function without a name, so you can't reuse that function. The thing that's more interesting to me in this particular exercise is to notice that we have three divs creating a square, triangle, and circle, yet all they contain is a non-breaking space. So how did this square, triangle, and circle show up on the web page? Well, that's all created by styles. If I look at my style sheet, I see these div with pseudo classes, first of type, nth of type, and they're indicating the second one, and the last of type. So the first element that's a div is going to get these style rules. The second element that's a div is going to get these style rules, and the last element that's a div is going to get these style rules. And this is where your inspector can really be helpful. I'm going to do a right-click inspect element, and when I click on the square here in my HTML, I can read the styles and see how those styles were applied. So the div first of type is my square. It's got a width of 220 pixels, a height of 220 pixels. It's got a background color of black that is not being applied because the background rule of red takes precedence. I don't even know why that style black is there given the style background color of red overrides it. If I click on the triangle div, it's a little bit more interesting. The triangle div has a left border and a right border and a bottom border. And you can play in your inspector here by removing the checkboxes beside these styles and see what happens to your web page. If I remove the left border, I've just got a right border and a bottom border. If I remove the right border, I've just got a left border and a bottom border. It's really fun to come into the inspector and remove styles and see what the impact is on the web page. Let me click my div circle, and that's got a width and a height and also a border radius, which creates the circle. If I take off the border radius rule, then I've created a square. You can also change these rules in the inspector. I can change from blue to green or whatever colors I want. Now, obviously, when I'm playing around with either the HTML or the CSS in the inspector, I'm just doing it on the fly temporarily. As soon as I refresh this page, I'm going to be back to the original. While we're in the inspector, let's make note of two other very important things. The console window shows you the results of anything that you've put in your JavaScript using the console object.log method. And the debugger tab is essential. It will help flag JavaScript errors. For example, in your JavaScript, if you forget an important closing semicolon at a critical part in your statement, the debugger will flag that error for you and tell you what line of JavaScript is failing. Thank you.